Happy days and here I am with the amazing Joseph Maguire from Clearside Communications. We did a couple of dabbles last year in some in some power shot videos and I invited him back and he said, please, Joseph, will you come in and do another video? He said, Paul, why not? Let's do that because you give me your true authentic face. Otherwise, I would not be here, trust me. Joseph, thank you ever so much for coming on with a quick power shot with myself. And let me throw it out there. The social media face. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's dive into that, you know, the face of many, but never yourself. That, I feel, is a social media face. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about, you know, are we truly ourselves? How many people have many social media faces, but never themselves, but expect people to love the authentic part of them whilst displaying the unauthentic part we could say yeah oh absolutely absolutely yeah one thing i learned uh, firstly thank you so much for having me back it's always a always a real pleasure um yeah one thing i learned a long time ago is that most people and i'll certainly include myself in that carry huge levels of insecurity so w particularly when we're exposed in public like this mm -hmm. we seek to please we seek to provide something we think other people want or we think other wow. people expect of us. And so often we don't really know who we are. We just don't know who we really are. We're, there's there's layers and layers and, you know, so many levels of mask that we wear. Mm -hmm. We You know, a persona for this, a persona for that. And we create so many illusory images to other people of who we are that they don't know who we are either. Yeah, And so much of what we're seeing on social media now, and it doesn't matter which platform you're talking about, so much of what we're seeing on social media is just effectively white noise. Wow. It's the visual version or the audio version of white noise. Wow, let me touch on that. That's, ma clarity. that's massive, Joseph, you know. Effectively, we are saying that the versions we get of people are just white noise versions because of the need to be liked, loved, wanted, seen, you know, we are we're trying to grow. You know, our vi our our digital businesses effectively, our digital selves. I mean, is that a digital? I mean, yeah, that's crazy. I just said that. My digital yes. self. What is that? Is that here? If it's not here, it's coming, Paul. Because wow. um, like that's one thing I, I I came across some research recently where they can uh, the, the the real experts now can take seven seconds of a voice a voice recording and create a whole conversation based on that seven seconds, wow. which will sound exactly like the real person. And that's, this is the early days of AI. Wow. I mean, you, here's the thing is crazy. I see inside, I see in front of me, Joseph McGuire, clear sight communications. This is you, mm -hmm. but we don't know what clear sight is anymore. When, when, you know, you you've got me here on the screen. Am I giving you my authentic self? Am I doing that? You know, I think, I don't know, am I? I think I am. You know, listen, I'm a, I'm a little bit um, hungry today because I'm on my first day of fasting. I'm on a five-day fast. It's my first day. I'm full in. And, you know, I'm thinking, well, this is my, am I my true self to Joseph? You know, am I my best authentic self? Is it a social media face I'm giving because, you know, I'm creating a video? You know, am I like this running around in my birthday suit in the day when I'm my true self? You know, I'm going to say I'm on heart. Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And one of the one of the beautiful things about you, Paul, and you know me well enough, I don't say nice things for the sake of it. One of the beautiful things about you is you're genuinely curious. Yes. You're not simply here presenting an opinion. I'm certainly presenting an opinion as fact, which so many people do. Mm -hmm. you you ask questions because you want to grow you want to learn you want to become and that's the thing we're all in a state of becoming oh, constantly wow. in a state of becoming so you want to become the best version of paul whatever that involves and you're willing like you're willing to you're willing to embrace the challenges of that because it's not always comfortable as we know yeah and we've had these we've had these conversations off off screen as well yeah. that it's not always comfortable unlearning all the conditioning and all the layers of stuff we've taken on trying to fit in trying to please people trying to you know fit into whatever it is that we yeah. think we should fit into um, wow. and, and let, yeah. let's let's think about our social media face i mean what is that what is our social media face is it do you think joseph is when we are putting on 
the airs and graces, the persona, and you know, is it when we're putting on that because we need to be liked? I, I guess immediately you'll know you're putting on a social media face if you're going there with an intention of wanting to be liked rather than being being able to be yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and how quick are we as human beings to catch that from another person? That's a big question. Obviously, because of what I do. I would expect to catch it very quickly. But yeah. most people are so, and I, I don't mean this to sound like an accusation, but um, most people are caught up in that. The, their minds are so, they're so busy in here, you know, mm -hmm. what we used to call the top two inches, that they're thinking in terms of what should I say? What will I say? What can I say? What do they need to hear? How can I convince them? How can I sell? Yeah. Yeah. Um, are they, are, and like one of the other things that, that's come up, and I, I, I know I've mentioned it elsewhere before, in terms of the research from people being on Zoom, et cetera, so, so frequently, is so many people, when they're on screen with others, they're, they're, they're feeling insecure about themselves because they think wow. other people are either better looking than them or more yeah. successful. Wow. We put on social media face then because of assumption of what we think other people are thinking yeah. and feeling. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then how do we how are we expected then to trade authentically if we have that social media face on? Uh, that's just, isn't it just surreal what digital technology has done? Yeah. It's just it's, yeah. I mean, you should be a millionaire right now, um, being that you've you've got to fix everybody's social media face. So here's where we are. Trust me. If you think you haven't got a social media face, then you haven't met Joseph McGuire and you haven't experienced his workshops, you haven't experienced his, you haven't had a one-to-one -one with him, or you're not going through one of his formulas. Because if you think you are social media face free, then you haven't got yourself in front of this amazing person, Joseph McGuire, because he knows what a social media face looks like, and he'll be able to help you make sure that you deliver the most authentic part of you in every part of your social media business. If you're on screen, you need to be true to yourself. And sometimes that is hard to find, Joseph. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And we're so, again, we're so caught up in what other people are thinking and what are they feeling about, about us. And most of us are so caught up in ourselves that we're not thinking or feeling about anything anybody else is thinking or doing or feeling so <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing joseph let me just put this out there how do we get older with my friend if we need to best way to reach me is linkedin that's where i'm most active you'll catch me joseph mcguire face magic and look at this beautiful face you cannot miss him do you know what i mean happy days joseph thank you for jumping in for a quick power shot this week and we are social media facing your face off and I will catch you on our next call when I badge you again to come in for another quick blast me. Thank you ever so much, my friend. And here he is, Joseph McGuire, Clear Sight Communication. Always a pleasure, Paul. Thank you so much. Happy days and bye for now. Cheers.